From serenading cruise ship passengers to her most recent breakup, this is the truth about Ariana Grande. Number 14, Early Years. Ariana Grande Butera was born in Boca Raton, Florida on June 26, 1993 to Edward Butera and Joan Grande. Her mother worked as the chief executive officer of a communications company and her father owned a graphic design business. Her parents were inspired by Princess Oriana and Felix the Cat, the movie, when they chose her name. When she was around nine years old, her mom and dad separated. She performed at the Fort Lauderdale Children's Theater as a child and she started singing at a karaoke parlor on a cruise ship at eight years old. Ariana also performed with the South Florida Philharmonic in the Florida Sunshine Pops. She even sang the national anthem at a Florida Panthers game, which was her first appearance on television. She attended school at Pinecrest and North Broward Preparatory. When she reached the age of 13, Ariana became intent on pursuing a career in music while continuing to concentrate on theater. She expressed to her managers that she wanted to record an R&B album after arriving in Los Angeles. Later on, she began singing at Birdland in New York City. Ariana eventually landed a job with Nickelodeon, and her fame truly began to grow. Number 13, Pets. Many people know that Ariana Grande is an animal lover. She loves the company of her furry friends, and she has adopted numerous rescues that now enjoy a life of luxury by her side. One of her dog's names is Coco, a Dachshund and German Shepherd mix. She also has a Beagle and Chihuahua mix named Tolise, two chocolate Labradoodles named Ophelia and Sirius, a Chihuahua named Pignoli, and a Yorkie named Strauss. Apparently, Ariana is a diehard Harry Potter fan. So yes, you guessed it, Sirius' full name is Sirius Black. However, the pet list doesn't stop there. She also owns a bloodhound named Lafayette, an American pit bull terrier named Cinnamon, and a Shiba Inu named Fox. That's a total of nine dogs. You might think that nine is enough for the young star, but you'd be wrong. She and her now ex-fiance, Pete Davidson, decided to bring another little furball into their home. However, this time it was a tiny pig. Davidson even got a tattoo of her with Piggy Smalls written underneath. Despite this permanent ink, Ariana is keeping the animal post-breakup. She notably purchased the piglet and has no intention of letting her go. Number 12, Charities. Ariana Grande is a very charitable person. She has worked with numerous organizations over the years. When she was just 10, she helped create the group Kids Who Care, which performed during events to raise money for various causes. In 2007, they raised about $500,000. In 2009, Ariana and her brother taught music and performed for children living in Africa with the Broadway and South Africa organization. In 2013, she was featured in Seventeen magazine in the Delete Digital Drama campaign to stop cyberbullying. A year later, she volunteered in the TV program Stand Up to Cancer, in which she sang the song My Everything as a tribute to her grandfather. In 2015, she performed with Miley Cyrus to help her Happy Hippie Foundation. Then a year after that, she worked with MAC Cosmetics to launch a lipstick line. The profits were donated to people with HIV and AIDS. Ariana is also very active in the LGBT community, Black Lives Matter movement, and several other groups and foundations. Number 11, Broadway. Pretty much everyone and their mothers have heard about Ariana Grande since she's become such an enormous success. But do you know how she got her start? We talked about her childhood performances in theater and orchestras. However, one of the things that got her noticed was the Broadway musical 13. She was cast in the show in 2008 as a cheerleader named Charlotte. Ariana won a National Youth Theater Association award for her performance. Number 10, White House. She's an astonishing singer, so it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that Ariana was chosen to perform at America's most famous establishment, the White House. In 2014, she was selected to sing for the program titled In Performance at the White House, Women of Soul. The point of the concert was to honor the so-called foremothers of American music, or female legends, whose songs signify the hardships and accomplishments of women. Ariana was accompanied by several other artists, including Melissa Etheridge, Tessan Chin, Jill Scott, Janelle Monae, and Aretha Franklin. Ariana sang I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston a magnificent choice for Grande's amazing vocal range. Number nine, awards. Ariana Grande is an incredibly talented singer and has won numerous awards for her work. In 2013, she took home a Billboard Mid-Year Award for Best Newcomer, an American Music Award for New Artist of the Year, and a Music Business Association Award for New Artist of the Year. A year after that, Ariana won two Teen Choice Awards, a Radio Disney Award, a People's Choice Award, an MTV Video Music Award, an iHeartRadio Music Award, and several others. In 2015, she received another American Music Award, three Japan Gold Disc Awards, and many more. 
Ariana won upwards of seven awards in 2016 and over 10 in 2017. In 2018, she earned a Teen Choice Snapchatter Award, two new Musical Express Awards, an MTV Video Music Japan Award, an MTV Video Music Award for Best Pop Song, an iHeartRadio Music Award for her cute pup, Toulouse, and she could win even more. Ariana Grande notably had 65 wins and over 130 nominations. Number 8. Annie Grande started a career in music when she was just a child. Although she has grown tremendously throughout the years regarding vocal range and acting prowess, her modest beginnings bring out the nostalgia in everyone. When she was just eight years old, she performed in the musical Annie as the title character. The play was put on by the Little Palm Family Theater in her hometown. Even back then, Ariana had quite the set of pipes, which foreshadowed her prosperous future in the music industry. You can even check out her adorable performance on YouTube. Number seven, vegan. Ariana Grande converted to veganism in the mid-2010s. In an interview with Mir in 2014, she stated, I love animals more than I love most people. Not kidding. But I am a firm believer in eating a full plant-based, whole food diet that can expand your life length and make you an all-around happier person. It is tricky dining out, but I just stick to what I know. Veggies, fruit, and salad. Then when I get home, I'll have something else. Apparently, watching the film Blackfish, which documented an inhumane captivity of orcas at SeaWorld, had some involvement in her switch to veganism. Ariana has also noted that she didn't eat much meat before, so it wasn't too difficult for her to change diets. Plus, she said that she'd eaten enough cheese as a child for anyone's normal lifespan. Grande also declared that she disagrees with humans drinking cow milk since the creatures produce milk with nutrients for cows, not people. Ariana's love for animals is apparent through her numerous rescue pets and her plant-based diet. Number 6. Donuts One of the most significant adverse events concerning Ariana Grande was the donut incident. It may sound like a laughing matter, but it sparked a lot of negative attention for the young artist in 2015. TMZ published a surveillance video of Ariana and her friends in a donut shop. During the recording, she licked a couple of the pastries on display, along with her now ex-boyfriend. Then the worker brought out a tray of donuts to show them, and Ariana said, What the beep is this? I hate Americans. I hate America. This is disgusting. According to some sources, the donuts that had been licked were sold to customers later on, and nobody was aware that they were contaminated. But let's be honest, they might have sold for more if people knew who licked them. However, the situation caused an uproar from her fans. Grande apologized for her behavior, stating, I am extremely proud to be an American. What I said was taken out of context, and I am sorry for not using more discretion with my choice of words. She added that since she strongly believes in clean eating, she becomes upset by how freely we as Americans eat and consume things without any thought to the consequences that it has on our health and society as a whole. Ariana also noted that the United States has one of the highest child obesity rates in the world, which disheartens her. Some people accepted her apology and others didn't. Ariana was supposed to perform at the White House for the second time. However, her performance was canceled after the incident. Number five, influences. We all know that Ariana Grande is up there with the best singers of our time. But do you know who this talented artist draws her inspiration from? The first one is Mariah Carey. Grande said Carey is her favorite human being on the planet. Not too surprising considering Mariah's incredible vocals. Ariana noted that another one of her inspirations is Whitney Houston, another legend in the music world. She also said Gloria Estefan was the reason she decided to pursue a musical career. After Estefan saw Ariana performing on a cruise ship, she complimented her vocal talent. Other inspirations include Destiny's Child, Beyonce, Fergie, India Ari, and Brandy. Grande is a four-octave soprano vocalist and has the whistle register, which is the highest the human voice can reach. Number 4. Nickelodeon Ariana's big breakthrough came when she was cast for the Nickelodeon series Victorious. She played the role of Cat Valentine, the sometimes airheaded friend of the main character. She showed off her singing talent during some episodes, like Freak the Freak Out and I Party with Victorious. Grande also recorded songs for soundtracks including Victorious, music from the hit TV show, and uploaded covers from various artists on YouTube during the filming of the show. Cat's catchphrase was, what's that supposed to mean? Which she would say when she was offended. Ariana also acted in the spin-off show Sam and Cat, which ran from 2013 to 2014. She continued performing in various other things, such as a theater production titled A Snow White Christmas and a Nickelodeon movie called Swindle. Number 3. Mac Miller Most of us have heard the sad news about the young rapper Mac Miller. 
You all probably know that Ariana Grande was a large part of his life. They became close from around 2012 to 2013, when they did a cover of Baby It's Cold Outside and collaborated on The Way. They remained just friends until 2016 when Ariana broke up with her then-boyfriend, Ricky Alvarez. Shortly after that, Miller and Grande started dating. The couple appeared very much in love and Miller was there for her after her terrible incident in Manchester. However, in May 2018, they called it quits and Ariana posted a heartfelt message on Instagram. Then after Miller received a DUI after the breakup, a Twitter user blamed Ariana. But she took to the site quickly and said it isn't right for people to minimize female self-respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship. She added that she had been dealing with Miller's struggles for some time. Max stated, It's all positive energy. I am happy for her and the fact that she's moving forward with her life. Mac Miller passed away in 2018. Number 2. Brother Ariana is usually the one in the spotlight, but she has an older brother named Frankie Grande. He is about 10 years older than her and is pretty well known in the world of theater. He has performed in various Broadway musicals, including Mamma Mia and Rock of Ages. Plus, Frankie has produced Broadway shows as well, like Hamlet, Born Yesterday, and La Bette. He even produced Brooke Shields' 2011 cabaret show and has performed in various cabaret acts himself. Frankie also gained attention for being a contestant on Big Brother 16 in 2014, in which he finished in fifth place. Number 1. Pete Davidson You've probably heard of Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson's relationship, but let's look at how they met and got engaged before things went south. They became close when Grande hosted Saturday Night Live in 2016, but they were still seeing other people, so nothing happened. Ariana later told Jimmy Fallon that she had the biggest crush in the world on him the whole time. In 2018, she posted a final picture of her and then-boyfriend Mac Miller on Instagram. Soon after, Pete's former girlfriend, Cassie David, posted their last photo together. After both celebs officially ended things with their exes, they confirmed that they were dating. In June 2018, Ariana flaunted her $93,000 engagement ring during her performance at Wango Tango. However, it seems that their rush into romance ended poorly for the duo. In October 2018, Grande and Davidson called it quits. The reason for their breakup hasn't been confirmed, but some reports suggest that it wasn't much of a surprise. A source told People that the couple would fight often off-camera and added, they've gotten into arguments and broken up before and got back together. Some also noted that it could be due to Ariana's difficulty dealing with Mac Miller's passing. The source also said it was way too much too soon. Whatever the case might be, Davidson and Grande are doing what they can to make it through a stressful time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.